shows. Okay. Tony Obias with AB Boxing News, Barclays Center. I'm here with Staten Island's own Marcus Brown. Marcus, how are you? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I just, you know, we're here for the press conference, and uh, we had a lot of words being exchanged. You know, uh, John Pascal, he came in here. I basically, you know, starting with you. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do, man? At the end of the day, um, this is boxing. This is the sport. Um, you got to sell a fight. Um, I'm ready to take care of business, and, and I'm ready to have fun with it. And, you know, as long as, you know, he don't touch me, don't put no hands on me, we, we all good. You know what I'm saying? So, it's nothing personal. It's all business. Um, he's a champ. He's a former world champion, two-time world champion. So, he's not any, and we all know the type of character he has. He's not going to come and lay down for nobody. So, I, I, that's what I expect. Now, you know, let's go back a little bit. One of your biggest wins versus Badu Jack. Uh -huh. You know, you go into that fight, you know, the odds were against you and you came out victorious and you pretty much dominated the fight. Mm -hmm. You know, now you're fighting a former champ like John Pascal. Mm -hmm. He says he has more experience over you. Mm -hmm. But what do you bring to the table come August 3rd to be victorious? What do I bring to the table? Um, I bring a lot. I don't want to give out too many tips right now, mm -hmm. but I bring a lot to the table that, 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 he claims he fought all these champions, but they don't possess what I... All of them do, did not possess everything that I have, you know what I'm saying, as a fighter. So I feel like I'm a more well-rounded fighter. And uh, come August 3rd, uh, I'm just, I got another chance to prove to the world that I'm here. And I'm one of the best light heavyweights, and I'm more, one of the more interesting ones. Not the robots, not the corny ones, the one that got style, the one that know how to speak, and the one that know how to give people a show. Now, with a win like this and, and your previous wins, mm -hmm. you look to be the face of the division. You know, you know do you want the De Bovals? Who Who's on your radar that, you know, you're ready to get ready to attack? I want, I want any of these guys. I really don't have no pick. But me personally, you know, uh, my favorite belt in, in the, the, when I first started boxing and I watched growing up was uh, the green belt. And we all know that belt right there. Um, it's, there's a good story behind it for me personally. Right, right. But I'm going to stay focused on Gene Pascal, and then we'll make the – I don't make the decisions. I just say yes. And then, you know, my team, Al, Keith Conley, they'll all take, make the decision and do what they got to do. Now, we had an upset a couple weeks ago with uh, Andy Ruiz. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one of the biggest upsets in boxing history since Mike Tyson. Yeah. You know, when you see a win like that, does that, you know, remind you of, you know, stay, your stay on your grind. Stay on right. your grind. Stay on your grind. And don't 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 ever get too comfortable, and you know, and I'm nowhere near comfortable. Um, I'm I'm hungry. I'm starving still. Uh, I, I still feel like I'm I'm you know I haven't received the the amount of the amount of recognition that I should be getting. But you know, it, it, it comes in time, and this right here is one of those steps forward. There you have it, Marcus Brown. Catch him August third versus John Pascal. AB Boxing News. Thank you, Marcus. God bless.